Hey loves, welcome in. Happy Friday to you guys. I hope everybody is having a good one. Whatever time of day it is, this message reaches you. I hope it reaches you and you are doing absolutely amazing. Okay, we're going to use Auntie Kwan Yen's deck today. Okay, for Friday, let's go ahead and get into the message. So for Friday, I was speaking um, on Thursday um, about the key of life energy. Now, the divine told me to tell you that the key of life, it previously was given to you to unlock doors. But now, God says you have become the key and this key unlocks not only doors but powers okay so let's see what kuan yin has to say thank you angels and spirit gods for clear and precise messages for my viewers on friday okay we have the turquoise lotus mother oh that's a new one i don't think i pulled that one since i had this deck all right so i'm gonna have to look her up bear with me the number 42 is out here, which is bringing me to the number six. The number six could be very significant for Friday. Six is speak about harmony, balance, and justice. The turquoise lotus mother brings precious healing to you now. Allow yourself to be lifted out of your struggle, beloved one. An old pattern is finally in its death throes. Okay, something that weighed heavily on you from their past this can be one of the most testing times to allow something to go just when it seems to be so demanding of your time focus and attention yet do not doubt you have actually learned the lessons it required of you and now you are being blessed with an opportunity to receive karmic healing oh that's deep that's real deep Okay, so you've become this key of life. Now you're able to receive this karmic healing, okay? Something from your past or someone from your past that was weighing on you or taking a lot of your time, your attention, or trying to just distract you. They can no, no longer be a part of that distraction, okay? It cannot no longer hold you down or keep you from progressing forward um, to where you should rightfully be, okay? So you clear some type of karmic debt. Now, as this key, you are a representation of the strength of God, is what the divine told me to tell you. And as his children, we all have dominion as well as power, as well as authority, okay? Now, under these codes of ethics, all evil is returned to ashes, okay? So I feel like you something was plaguing you. You maybe didn't know what it was exactly, okay? The tail. Okay, um, and it's like now the energy that was plaguing you before is being cleared. Okay, continue to listen to the towel, follow the towel. Okay, I just need one. Let's put those back. We just need one. Hi, mommy girl. Hi, mommy unicorn. Okay, little puppy just woke back up again. So, excuse her whining because she's gonna probably cry until I take her out of her little, her little. Little, little little space here okay but i gotta get these cards out i'm almost done okay so there's something that's almost complete all right friday okay we have the veil of shadows all right so we got our three energies for friday at the bottom of the deck we have empress of the pearl okay you guys i haven't used Kwan Yin in a while so bear with me let's get the gist let's check out the tail real quick Okay, I won't be very long. The number 38 is here. Somebody could be 38 years old. Somebody else could be 42 and somebody else could be 43. Okay. Hold on, mama. Okay, 38. The tail. The tail is always flowing, always nourishing life into creation, always presenting steps and solutions and always reminding us that we are perfection in this moment you are being guided to relax and allow life to flow i think i've been saying that um or i said that in one of the readings this week already so that's confirmation to just go with the flow okay just allow something's taking a new shape okay the veil of shadows the veil of shadows says a lotus blossoms with deep rich mud into which she plunges her roots and draws great nourishment from this mud made of water and earth, growth happens and great beauty is revealed. Your soul lotus thrives through depth 
of emotion and aliveness of your body into which she can plant herself and unfold as a lotus of light. Ooh, now the energy of Nova. I looked up Nova, okay? Um, Nova speaks about a light that shines very, very brightly for two months to a few years, okay? And then it goes back out again. So prepare yourself to be either plunged into the spotlight, okay? Or just shining very brightly over the next course of a few months to a few years, okay? Um, because that's what the energy is doing as you being this Nova alien, okay? Um, so the turquoise lotus mother, nope, we didn't do that one. That was the first one. We already read that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She brings precious healing to you now. An old find. Yep. Your pattern is over. So let's look up number 10 here. So something's coming to an end. Okay. It's over. All right. The empress pearl, the empress of the pearl says you have an inner gift of value, born of struggle, adversity, adversity and challenge in wisdom you know that suffering can lead to growth provided we are willing to search for a way to heal through it seeing challenges as ways to expand your spiritual light empowers you to focus on the ground of the growing excuse me to focus on the growing light rather than getting caught up in suffering so god right now is calling for you no matter what circumstance you are facing right now find the silver lining, look for the positive, have the attitude of gratitude, okay? Because this is what is going to get you through whatever the struggle is, okay? Let's see what signs are significant for this read. Turquoise, Lotus, Mother, the Tail, Veil of Shadows, and the Empress of the Pearl. So there's nothing but growth and opportunity here for you, but there's a need for you to seek it, okay? You to call it out, you to recognize it. Gemini, cross-pollinate, lotus, uh, mother, turquoise, lotus, mother. Turquoise could be very significant. A fucus energy is here with the divine warriors, warriors. Things are always flowing, ever changing. Continue to go with the flow. Leo, veil of shadows, shine your light. Choose to shine your light, even in the darkness, okay? Um, for some of us, we are the only light in darkness that people see, okay? We have Capricorn, achieve. There's something that is, it's like an opportunity is there for you, but you have to be willing to reach out and grab it. You have to be willing to reach out and see it, okay? So let's see what the Wonder Warrior deck has to say, okay? Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clear and precise messages. The struggle is almost over, whatever the upset is. Remember, the whole shaking was for your shifting, okay? God is moving you into a better position, but you have to be willing and choose to see it that way. There's a card that I have that says, I am choosing my happiness. You have to be willing to choose your happiness no matter what storms are going on, okay? You got bops, coil array, okay? Bops. You don't got hops out of here, Gemini. You got bops, okay? Um, candy could be very significant. Something about a short and sweet I posted could be very significant. Divine Warrior, Ophucus, the tail, going with the flow, following the flow. You may need to um, tap into the energy of water, okay? Get around or surround yourself with a large body of water. Maybe it's just as simple as you going swimming so that you could feel weightless, okay? Um, it says, we not doing that. I am royalty, warriors. We are not doing it. Whatever it was, whether it's not seeing the light of things, not finding the pos positive out of a situation, we not doing that, okay? We are royalty. Remember that your best chess move involves you going within. So this could be a time for you to go within, tap and tune into your inner child, your inner light. Make sure you... And all three of yourselves, your higher self, your inner child, okay, and the current you is all on the same page, okay? All right. We have, look, never lost a battle. Leo, I am super strength. 555 five, five energy is here. Goat energy is here. Goat, go, okay? So, Leo, you're out here as the goat, okay? You've never lost a battle. Two chains energy. Archangel Michael energy is with you as well. 
okay and you could have maybe took the scenic route all right hello friday i'm a force okay capricorn i'm a force to be reckoned with yeah you are empowered sagittarian energy is here with the bow and arrow okay um so sagittarius is peeping through there as well the eagle is here okay you have the ability to fly at high altitudes breathe live and survive there okay so don't ever forget your power don't ever forget your strength everything you need is within you you guys this has been your read i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you next time once again happy friday the color of the day is yellow yellow taps you into your solar plexus so tap in and clear that shot. Have a great day.